Joey. Hmm? Does it ever bother you? Does whatever bother me? You know, our... situation. What, that we're stranded in the coldest goddamn place on Earth? That we're trying to suck up the last few drops of oil in Alaska? Oil that'll be made into plastic and probably implanted into $5 water bottles, cheap toys, or the boobs of a Hollywood starlet? Well... Or maybe you were talking about how we're security personnel outfitted with military-grade training and equipment. Or maybe, just maybe, you meant that little part where there's an identically equipped security team from a rival company on the other side of this canyon, and this whole operation is a bomb waiting to go off. You're asking if any of that bothers me. Not really, no. Please, elaborate. <sighs> Look, Leo, in a few months this dig will be over and all the oil on Earth will be gone thanks to our super intelligent race screwing itself over. Again. And when that happens, you know who's going to be looked after? The big heads running these inane companies. Not us grunts. You have a very pessimistic way of looking at things. You've been down here in this piss hole with me for six months, and you're just now noticing that? No, I just find it to be grotesquely fascinating. What I'm trying to say is, is that soon enough none of this, and by extension none of us, are going to matter in the long run. So why worry about it? You don't have to tell me about the long run, Joey. Oh, right. I keep forgetting you've been around a lot longer than we have. How do you forget something like that? One doesn't just forget that his best friend's immortal. Eh, uh, might be the booze. Or the morphine addiction. Either way... Let me guess. You don't care. Bingo! You are one shit security guard, you know that? Careful. Keep it up and you're gonna hurt my feelings. Shoot him. No. Shoot him! No. Come on, shoot him! Corey, I have an idea. Why don't we play the quiet game? How do we do that? It's simple. All you have to do is keep your mouth shut while I recon the greens. Oh, come on, Muppet. Why don't we just fucking go in and ice them? Because there are four of them, and only one of me. And one of me! Oh, you don't count. Save your uncontrollable bloodlust for Mailer's plan. That oil will be ours soon enough. They're going inside. We'd better head back and report this. Report what? You being an asshole? All I did was stand there. They wouldn't abandon their posts without a good reason. I think something big's about to happen. Okay, Chris, I've got a long day of standing around and freezing to death to do, so make it snappy. Joey, Leonardo, I called you guys in because I want you to meet our newest member. Say hello to Mac. Uh, hey, Mac. Burn in hell. God damn it. Oh, just what this place needed. Another bonehead. Don't call me bonehead, bonehead. Now, now, boys, play nice. Max here to replace Jimmy. Oh, right. Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? He was our last communications officer stationed here. A nice guy. Good looking, too. Until the accident. What happened? Poor bastard got his face chewed off by a shark. A shark? Yep. We were working on one of the drilling spots closer to the water, and this massive shark just jumped up and grabbed him. Chris, I don't know what you were talking about. I think all the blood and bone made old Jimmy look better than he used to. What happened to Jimmy doesn't matter. I'm sure nothing like that will happen to you, Mac. With any luck it will. Mac arrived here with a lot of heavy-duty hardware replacement parts. I'm gonna need someone to organize them in storage. Oh, hey, well, will you look at the time? I've got things to do and people to see, so- Joey! Fuck. Why don't you go do that for me, hmm? You're lucky your pay grade is higher than mine. I've got some errands to run, so I'll let you two get to know each other. Ta-ta! So is it true that you're immortal? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. How and why? 
Honestly, I have no clue. I just woke up in 1993 and I've been around ever since. Wow, won't lie, that's kinda awesome. And I never compliment anyone. It's not as awesome as you would think. Guys, you're back! How'd the mission go? Boring as ever, thanks to this dickhead. For the love of God, zip it. I thought snipers were supposed to shoot people. I can shoot you if you don't drop it. Noted. Oh, fellas, you should really try to be nice to each other. A fighting team is a losing team. Stow the propaganda BS and give me a coffee. <laughs> sure thing, Muppet. Would you like that with sugar or cyanide? Yeah, I'll take sugar. Wait, what? One coffee with sugar. Coming right up. Does Flemmy you know, uh, creep you out? On a scale of about 1 to 10. 10,000. Muppet! Corey! Tell me what those devilish greens were up to this time. Mailer, I'm afraid to report that the Greens were doing a suspicious amount of standing around. There was also an evil amount of inactivity and a ton of horrible staying at their post. And I think one of them twitched at one point. <laughs> Those bastardly dastards! You mean dastardly bastards. Yeah, uh... That. Oh, and there was that one point where none of them had smoking bullet holes in their noggins. You're pushing it. <laughs> well, don't you worry, boys. We'll fix that soon enough. You'll be happy to know that I've changed the plan. What? What was wrong with an all-out attack? An assault by the four of us was much too simple. And not nearly dramatic enough. And it might have actually worked. Nonsense. Everyone knows the more dramatic something is, the higher the odds it'll work out. Yeah, tell that to my ex-girlfriend. So, what kind of asinine plan do we have to follow now? I don't know. Yet. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm still working out the details. All of them. But fear not, the great mailer always thinks of something. Now where's Flim with my coffee? Flim? Oh, Flim! How much do you want to bet Flim put cyanide in his coffee? Please. Don't get my hopes up. <sighs> Who the hell orders 20 tons of CPU cooling fans? God damn it. Hey, asshole. Oh, look, it's you. Why are you out of breath? Did you just win the asshole marathon? I just hauled 20 tons of hardware across this cargo bay. Got any more smart comments, wise ass? Yeah, you're really out of shape. Fuck you. Also, you're ugly. Did you need something? Yeah, about Leo's whole immortality thing. It's true. Prove it. Okay, follow me. Hmm. Look, just because I'm immortal doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. I'm still human. I still have feelings. Oh, don't be a baby. That bullet didn't even break your skin. If you were immortal and something pointy and made a metal hit you at supersonic speeds, it would definitely twinge a bit. I'm gonna have a bruise the size of a damn plate for weeks. You're an even bigger whiner than Joey is. Hey, I do not whine. I voice my complaints in a largely vocal fashion. Did that little demonstration have a purpose? Or did you just want to cause me pain? Mac needed proof of your immortality. There were a dozen other ways to prove it than fucking shooting me. How many of them hurt? <sighs> All of them. Case in point. And Super Joey wraps up another argument, once again taking the victory. What will he do next? So is there anything other than this undying freak that I should know about? Well, there go my feelings again. 
Um, no, I think that's about it. Really? No evil computer programs? Nope. No talking toys? Nuh-uh. No transsexual ex-girlfriends? Well, back in 89... No! How was that coffee? Cyanide-free. And it tasted like dirt. Soldiers of the- We're not soldiers. Right. Commandos of the- We're not commandos, either. Well, what are we, then? We're just fucking security guards, Mailer. Okay. Security guards of the- Actually, that might be stretching it a bit. Fine! Employees of the oil refining and natural gas enterprises. I have called you together because I have finally come up with the perfect plan for getting rid of those pesky greens. That's what you said last time. Oh boy, I just love your plans, Mailer. What will we be doing today? Infiltration? Excavation? Laceration? Incineration? Dude, what the hell? None of those. This time, we're gonna be smart about it. I've come up with a plan so foolproof that it's sure to work. I'm already seeing a dozen ways this could go wrong. First, we wait until nightfall. Then, we sneak through Green Base's back door- Green Base doesn't have a back door. Ah, number four. What? Are you sure? Oh yeah, real sure. Remember when you tried to send me in disguised as a green team member? Yes? Well, you wanted me to enter through the back door, and there wasn't one, so I got shot at. A lot. Huh. That was one of my better plans. I always thought you failed because you're completely inept at everything you do in every way possible. Wow. Harsh. So what now? <sighs> I guess we'll have to go with my earlier assault plan. It's about damn time. Dibs on the sniper rifle. I'll devour their corpses. All security guards report to the front gate. We've got a problem. And it isn't a math problem. What's up? Our scanners picked up orange activity. They're heading this way. All right, gonna see some real combat. Yay! Shoot stuff. What's up with him? Joey, did you hit the morphine again? Um, no. Maybe. No. <sighs> How much? Uh, all of it? You're pulling my leg, right? <laughs> I guess there was one other thing we should have told you about. Damn it, Joey, we talked about this. No morphine. Especially before combat. Are we down one man now? Eh, doesn't really matter. The oranges are all pretty bad shots. I swear the yellow one missed me at point blank range with a shotgun. And I wasn't moving. Yeah, the only one you got to watch out for is this m Muppet. He's actually pretty good. P pretty good. Okay guys, here's where we stand. The oranges are on their way. And once again, they're dead set on taking our oil. But the Global Resource Network specifically chose you to- <laughs> Son of a bitch! Yep, that's Muppet. Joey, get down! Very nice shot, Muppet! I deserve what you're getting paid. What was that? Nothing. Wee! This is so much fun! I can't believe they pinned us so quickly. Was this in the job description? Did you actually read it? Or did you just scroll down and click OK? Oh, come on. Nobody actually reads that part. How are we gonna get out of this? I'm not sure. Joey, do you have any- Fuck! He passed out. Screw him. Let's get inside. I'm not gonna leave him here. Hey, guess what, ass face? As communications officer, I outrank you. And since Chris is currently sleeping with the fishes, I'm in command. So get your behind inside that base. That's an order. You are a really, really big jerk. 
That and other things I stake my reputation on sometimes. Now get going! I said get going! Where's Chris's body? Who cares? Ah, just get out of my way! Nope! Dude, you actually missed. It was intentional. Sure it was. Hey, where's Flynn? We won't get anywhere while that sniper's watching us. Why are you looking at me like that? You're immortal. Why don't you just distract them for me? What? No way! <sighs> That's an order, isn't it? You bet your ass it is. Hey! Hey, Orange Team! Why don't you, um, take a really big, sharp rock and, uh, Stick it. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful when they get hurt. Brings a tear to my eye. I think you just shot the immortal guy. No, really. I never would have guessed. Uh, hey, Muppet. I think one of them's getting away. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Were those intentional, too? Move in! Let's take him alive! Oh god, here we go. Ha ha ha! You're ours now, you filthy greens! Says who? Uh, me, I guess. I'm immortal. What could you possibly do to me? Well, since you can't die, we could inflict pain on you that a mortal person normally wouldn't be able to tolerate! Yay! Hmm. Point taken. Alright. Take me in. W where the hell did you go? I got hungry, so I went for a little snack! N never mind. I don't want to know. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, you look like shit. Yeah, I get that a lot. Morphine hangover? Yep. How'd you know? Been there, done that. Where's Mac and Leo? The new guy ran back inside your base. Mailer's trying to use the immortal dude as a bargaining chip. Right. Well, guess I better go rescue them. Uh-uh. Move once, and you're dead. Oh, come on. Can we talk about... Hey, wait a sec. You're the yellow one. Yeah, so? So Leo said you couldn't hit him with a shotgun. So? At point-blank range. He's obviously lying. Mm-hmm. So you won't have a problem stopping me from calmly walking away. Hey, wait! Stop! Damn it! No, stop! Hold still! Fuck! No, wait! Green! Come out of there, your friend gets it. I really couldn't care less. Mac, you little shit! This isn't working. We should try something else. I could get some of my neurotoxin canisters from the base! Guys! Guys, the other green escaped! What? Where is he? I'm right here. Oh, fiddlesticks! Okay, oranges, we can do this the hard way, or we can do it my way. How'd he get free? I, I don't know, he just slid past me. Are you sure you didn't just fail to hit him entirely? What? No. What kind of moron misses with a shotgun at point blank range? And just who are you to be making demands? I'm the one with a rocket launching machine gun pointed at your faces. Rocket launching machine gun? That's preposterous. Really? Want to bet your life on it? Not pretty. Particularly. That's what I thought. Tell me you're not falling for this. There's no way his rifle can shoot rockets. Dude, didn't you hear? His guns can shoot fucking rockets. He's got us totally outgunned. Of course. Never should have expected anything different. Let's please just get out of here. 
We almost had it this time. But mark my words, Greens. This isn't over. It's just the beginning. See you next week! Next time, I'll bring a rocket launching machine gun. I hate all of you. Rocket launching machine gun? Some idiots will believe anything. Haven't you learned anything from the internet? So, what now? Same old, same old, I guess. Waiting around for the oranges to attack again. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh yeah? Why not? Chris is dead, remember? Oh, right. I almost forgot. And that doesn't exactly leave us in charge. Then who's... Oh, God damn it. That's right, you pieces of horseshit! Run! Well, how about that? Only one day on the job and I've secured us a huge victory. Joey drove them off. All you did was hide. I'm in charge, so that means I did it. Oh, speaking of which, I advise you two to clean up your schedules. As your new leader, I won't have all that slacking around that you're used to. I'm gonna whip the greens into a top-notch fighting machine. You're joking, right? Not at all. Now that I'm here, this is war. Welcome to the mac tatorship gentlemen. We're gonna get along just fine. Joey, does our situation ever bother you? Bother me? Nah. But sometimes, it does scare the hell out of me.